Kamala Harris will win if he continues to gain Donald Trump's share of the white working class, CNN data expert says. Harry Enton said Kamala Harris's closeness to Donald Trump is the biggest reason he has these advantages. Kamala Harris will likely win the election easily if he can continue to gain ground among Donald Trump's base of non-college educated white voters, a senior political data reporter has argued. Harry Enton shared a clip from his CNN appearance on the X platform and asked, why did Kamala Harris do so well in the NYT polls last week in key swing states like Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin? Harris is significantly outperforming Joe Biden with Donald Trump's white working class base. If she delivers those numbers with them, she will win easily, he added. In a video she shared recently on her Aaron Burnett Outfront episode, she spoke at length about how former President Donald Trump was beginning to lose ground with the voting bloc that won him the election in 2016. White working class voters and white voters without college degrees. Those are Trump's core group, he observed. That's why he was able to tear down that giant blue wall on the Great Lakes, Michigan and Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. And look at their support. His support now when it was a matchup between Trump and Biden a few months ago. While Donald Trump still has a lead in this demographic, CNN's Enton suggested that the Harris Walls campaign's efforts to gain traction with this group could win him the election. Look, former President Trump is still ahead. But look at this margin, it's narrowed significantly. It was 25 points and now, it's 14 points in August. It's almost halved. The numbers that Kamala Harris is putting up in that group right now are actually a little bit better than Biden did four years ago among voters in those key states. And those are the numbers that Harris needs to put up to win. After both Burnett and Enton mentioned that this challenged previous conventional expectations about Kamala Harris' appeal, Enton noted that the gap between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris among working-class white voters had narrowed. But ultimately, elections are all about difference. Enton added, This is also a change election. And it's also about change. And he stands out among white working class voters for change for the economy. The CNN data expert also emphasized that white working class voters are critical to winning across the entire electorate, not just the blue wall. Whites without college degrees are a significant group in general. They are a majority of the electorate, he said, when you compare them to whites with college degrees, or when you compare them to African Americans and Hispanics, particularly in Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. Let it that. That group is a majority of the electorate. The fact that Kamala Harris is coming off Donald Trump with them is a big reason why she has that advantage. The data expert said the surprising findings were a welcome development for Democrats. Susan Wiles, a key campaign strategist for Donald Trump, has consistently downplayed the demographic that many see as Donald Trump's base, instead trying to rally support among others. In an interview published last month in The Atlantic, Wiles was asked to paraphrase a quote from one of Donald Trump's allies. For every Karen we lose, we will gain a Jamal and an Enrique. That's a fact, I believe it, and I believe we've remade the party," Wiles told the interviewer. And I don't think we're going to lose all the Karens. They're buying eggs. They're buying gas. They know. They might not tell their neighbors or the ride-sharing line. But they know. Wiles has made similar remarks about party realignment before, such as when asked about Donald Trump's winning campaign in 2020, which he lost. We knew going into this election that it really was time to change the Republican coalition. The traditional Republican coalition just simply can't I don't believe elect Republicans any longer, so beginning to bring into the tent a larger number of Hispanic voters certainly making it palatable for African Americans," Wiles said. I'm happy to say, proud to say that it worked, she said of the 2020 campaign. 